Now, today we are going to measure the speed of light using chocolate and this, a microwave, because a microwave has waves about this long, just right for my chocolate, but I need more than one of these. If we look here, this is how we're going to measure the speed of light. If the waves move like this, and the chocolate is in the line here, the chocolate will melt here at the top, here at the bottom, and here at the top. Then I can use a ruler to measure from here to here, that's one wave length, one. If I know one, and how many every second, I know how far the light has gone in one second. If you want to see how many every second, if you look on the back of your microwave here, now I want somebody to come and read this number, please. Somebody, so we can hear. No. Now, what do you read there? What does it say? This one here. Can you read this number? This one? Two? Two, four, five, zero. Now, I want you to say that again. Two, four, five, zero. Thank you very much. You can sit down. Now, this, if you look on the back of the microwave, it says M H Z. M means million. So, we've got this, and I've got to put a million. One, two, three. One, two, three. So here, how many waves every second? Two, four, five, zero, 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 zero waves every second when you count one. So this number of waves, if I can measure from here to here, I know how long each wave is. If I know how long it is, and how many, if I multiply them, I know how far it's gone in one second. So let's put this. Ready? Now, here's the plate. I don't want the plate to go around. I want the waves to go across and melt the chocolate. So I'm going to turn it upside down and it won't move. So we put that in there. Now, here's my piece of paper. When the chocolate melts onto the paper, it's going to leave some marks that we can measure. So let's put my chocolate into the paper. One, two, three. And I want chocolate along all the paper. So there's number four. I'm going to cut that little bit. And I've got it flat, so when I put this together, I've got just the right amount. Now, this is the best bit about science. If somebody who helps teacher gets to meet the experiments. Now, very carefully, put the chocolate and the paper into the microwave. There we are. Can you see there? Now I don't know how long it will take to melt the chocolate. About 10 seconds. But today is not a cold day. So we might have to try two times. Now, the microwave's ready, the chocolate's ready, the paper's ready. Let's choose 12 seconds. So we're all going to count. So when I switch this on, I say 3, 2, 1, and we're going to count from 12, 11, 10. Now, are you ready? 3, 2, 1, count. Thank you. 
go for my double the chocolate. Now, you can see children are sitting quietly. Can help with the science. I've got some more of these for later. This is very good. Look at this. There. That was a good chocolate melt. Just the right amount of time. The top and bottom of the wave. So now I'm going to draw the wave so you can see what the wave would look like if you could see microwaves. Now, let's see if we can get this top. I'm going to choose the middle of the chocolate mark. And draw this wave. Okay. Okay. Now I can see if I can. Now there we are. If you could see microwaves, that's what they would look like. Now I've got to try and choose the top and the top, or the bottom and the bottom. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to measure. I'm going to put a mark on there. Those two. There and there. Or we can choose that one. And that one. Then we'll draw a line. Now I want somebody else to help the teacher. Is. Somebody can read this. Can you go ahead? Now we're going to measure from the top of the wave to the top of the wave. We're going to measure in centimeters. So I want to read pound on centimeters. <coughs> Twelve. That is exactly twelve. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. You can sit down at chain. Twelve. You can see it's true. Twelve centimeters. Now, if I was using some waves, like TV waves, they would be kilometers long. If I use waves with more energy, like colors, they would be so small you couldn't measure them with a ruler. But microwaves are just the right size. Can you see that again? Yes. Now we have to do some maths. Let's see. 12 <coughs> CM. 12 CM. One wave. 12 C. Um, now, I want to measure using meters. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. So I need to make this 100 times smaller. Well, 10 or 100. So that equals 0.12 meters. <coughs> now, remember this number. Two, four, five, zero, zero. This is how many waves every second. There's one wave times how many every second? 
times two, four, five, zero, 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 equals. Who's good at math? km, kilometers every second. There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So if I go 10, 100, 1,000, then I have this number here. We can just say, I'll take those. That's km every second. 249,000 kilometers every second. Oh no, I've done, I've done the math wrong, it's not. It's 94, let's have a, I've got that's the wrong way around, 94. 294, that's right. 294,000 kilometers every second. Kilometers. That's seven times round the whole Earth. Just where you count one. Now, this is how you find the speed of light. There's the number that we get. 299. 924. Well, that's the number that we get. Let's write this number. 299. 924. Now, that's the number out in empty space. The air should be just a little bit slower. It is just a little bit slower. <coughs> so I think that was very good, just using the chocolate. Now, what I'm going to do is put your class number on here. Then I can copy this. And copy this from the back of here. And we can put this onto one worksheet and do the math yourself. So you are 204. So if you write 204 on here, there it is. And then later, we put this onto YouTube so everybody can see how to measure the speed of light. Thank you very much.